I just watched the movie Bonhoeffer. And that was a, it was a brilliant story. I mean, it was a brilliant story, brilliant movie. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And it, it's based off a true story, which I loved even more. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who this movie is based off of, is a true hero to our history, the world's history, not just, not just the United States, the world's history. This man played a pivotal role in taking down Adolf Hitler and the Nazis. And this kind of pissed me off because I, I didn't even know who this guy was until I watched this movie. I mean, I'm learning more about history from movies than I did from about all my years of school. I mean, that's kind of sad, to be honest with you. Why are we learning about these types of people in history class? This guy's a true hero. He was a true hero. He put his life on the line and essentially gave his life for the cause. And I, I'm thinking all this stuff throughout the, while I'm watching the movie. I'm like, this guy's insane. I mean, I love this guy. I love this guy. I, you know what I mean? I would give my life for him. That's how much this guy inspired me because he actually stood up to what was bad in a very tragic time in our history. I mean, we all know what the Nazis did. I mean, they killed so many Jews. Not even funny. It's not even funny. So yeah, if you go watch this movie, which I think you should, it's essentially about his life from his childhood till he passed away. And he didn't really have the easiest childhood, which essentially made him to made him into who he was towards the end of his life. And I'm a firm believer in everything happening for a reason. And I truly believe that this guy was meant to be where he was and meant to, meant to have the life he had. Because without him, I, I feel as our history would probably be completely different. I mean, that's how much of an impact Bonhoeffer had, Dietrich Bonhoeffer had when he was alive. So, I, I mean, truly, truly love, I truly love this movie. I, I hope everybody gets to go see it at some point. So, if I had to rate this movie on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being shit, 10 being amazing, I'd probably go 8.2 out of 10. I thought this was a brilliant movie. Loved it. Uh, can't say much more than that. 8.2 out of 10 definitely deserves it. So, now I'm going to throw it over to my future self. See if we can find some autograph cards to go along with this movie. So I did some digging and I actually only found two people in this movie that have autograph cards in other sets. So yeah, starting off, we have Clark Peters who played Adam Clayton. And I didn't even know this had a set, but Archer, the old TV show, I don't even know if it's still running, but I believe it was on Adult Swim at one point. Uh, they had a set that came out in 2014 by Cryptozoic. And I guess Clark Peters voiced one of the characters on the show. So if you are an Archer fan or a Clark Peters fan, here's an autograph that you can get for him. Next, and the last name on this list, we have Andy Kelliger, who was part of the Gestapo at the Buchenwald, the Buchenwald. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Essentially, it was just the, the, the police, police officers back then. And he has an autograph in a couple of Game of Thrones sets. This one, more specifically, from 2020 Complete Series, which was the gold autograph. I actually might have his full bleed autograph. I'll throw it up on the screen if I have it. If not, I'm shit out of luck. So that is the, the complete list of, of autograph signers you can get from this movie. I thought there would be a lot more, and I was sadly mistaken. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've seen the movie or if you're going to get either of these autographs. I might have one already. I might have to pick the other one up just to go along with it. Mom? Uh...